Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about Ceph Sharpie, a way to load uh, web view or web pages inside the Revit in a WPF window. So uh, that's it, that's basically what I have here. I have my GitHub page my, about this project uh, inside Revit. So uh, let's talk about that and how to use that. Uh, if we want. So basically, uh, this is the reference for the Revit Ceph Sharp. Uh, each version of Revit have one specific version of Ceph Sharp and you cannot uh, use a different version. You can only use what Revit already uh, have. So this package basically uses the same uh, DOLs and you don't need to uh, send with your application. You can use direct this and you're gonna be good to go. So here is a simple example in here that you can basically load uh, this page that I'm showing right now. So yeah, uh, that's the idea. And let's go inside my project sample and take a look what uh, I have in here. Uh, basically, I have this web view in here that gonna have that uh, address that gonna open that. And in my web view, I basically have uh, nothing uh, pretty crazy. Only this that I'm uh, updating the title uh, with the same title of the browser with my uh, web view. That's the reason that this is changing with the name of my. Uh, it's. it's uh, HTML, yeah, that's it. So my web page, uh, and yeah, that's basically it. And I have inside here that package that I'm using. Here is already installed, and I'm using version 25 at the moment, just to show. And uh, let's create. I already have a simple uh, index. It's HTML in here just to show how you can do and interact with a web page using JavaScript. Yeah, let's just take a look uh, in some interesting stuff. Uh, first, one thing that I want to mention uh, if I right click right now, I have this option to back forwards. I can uh, run here. I don't know if I can back. Yeah, I can go back, I can mess around in here and go back like that. Uh, I don't like too much of these options, uh, especially this one. I can look for the source code. That's strange. And I have this print as well. Uh, yeah. So I want to disable this. Uh, there is a way. So I'm going to show how. Uh, I have these extensions in here that I'm going to use right now. This no menu context handler that's basically going to disable that. You can create your own and enable other stuff. Uh, in this, I'm gonna just disable uh, browser dot mm, handler, menu handler, that's it. So I already have the reference in here. So if I rebuild this, I'm using the uploader, so I'm gonna update that right away. If I right click, I don't, I don't have that option anymore. So yeah, that's what I want. And now let's use this simple load this simple HTML in my viewer. So first I'm gonna, I could put this in here, no problem. Uh, this HTML I'm copying with my folder, so with my plugin. So if I add something like this in here, could be good to go. Yep. And build that. So, and I click in here, just gonna have this Simple hello Revit. So yeah, that's what I have inside my uh, my HTML. That's basically this is the name of the page, I guess. Yeah, page title makes sense. And I have some JavaScript that you're gonna mess around right now. I have this get uh, data. That's basically the data inside the this div, and I'm gonna get that value. And I can set the value as well. I'm gonna show how to do that. So in this Ceph browser extension, I have to basic extension just to invoke some JavaScript or some scripts uh, inside my browser. So let's let's do that. Uh, first, I'm gonna go in the uh, browser dot uh, load. Mm, I never remember what state this one. Yeah, something like 
It's not exactly like that, but it's gonna be good enough. Yeah, if I do, I'm gonna need to add some sync in here. Mm. Let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like this. Not gonna be great, but yeah. At least I can mess with uh, a sync with a weight, actually. So let's wait a second and await data. Data, cool. And why this is. What's wrong with that? Um, okay, makes sense. Yeah, I need to set a, a string here. Sorry about that. Uh, get data. I basically have two options in here. Uh, this one that uh, allow a object to return, and this one doesn't have that option. And I have this on succeed as well. If I want to, I could use that. Yeah, it could be fun. Could be better actually. I guess. Uh, could be a little strange. But yeah, let's do something like this. Let's make sure in my console that data. Yep. So if I close that and open again, uh, I'm gonna show after one second here. Hello, rabbit. Great. That makes sense. If I update, uh, hello. Mm, let's update the title. Better something okay. Let's let's put some numbers in here just to make some fun. We close that. Uh, open again. Should show in that. So yeah, everything is working great. Uh, but now uh, let's use that other function. So I have the same thing. I can use the same options in here and set data. Dot. I need to set the new in here because of the on succeed and I can add other stuff like um, hello YouTube yeah and then I don't need that and I can remove this actually so if I do something like this and I close and open again should update my hello YouTube yeah don't forget to give a like and subscribe so yeah that's basically it you can Managing that, uh, talk with your, with your browser or with your web page and do some interesting uh, connectivity and so on. Yeah, I'm not going to enter uh, in more complex stuff, but the basic is just that, that you can mess around. And yeah, I can try, uh, I have other code in here, just to, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but let's try. Uh, so I was looking my something like this maybe mm, document body style background mm, that's right we updated that and uh, let's try something what's the name of that change background okay background uh, maybe red not sure if it's gonna work oh Right. Yeah, that works. So yeah, you can do a lot, lot of stuff. You have the, the function inside your HTML. Yeah, that's basically it for this video. Uh, and I'm probably going to post this in my GitHub. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can use the other options as well. Just to make sure that works. Actually, I'm not sure if I test that. Gonna be a little annoying. Uh, dot something like uh, data. Data. Yeah, this is a little annoying, but yeah, because I'm not waiting this to finish. But if I open that, should appear in my console as well. Yeah, because that succeeds. And yeah, 
So that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have some fun project to share, leave a comment in that. So thank you. Bye bye.